Welcome to video one of four of our County Health Department Nikon Eclipse E100 microscope introduction series. My name is Ashley Megalin and I'm a technical consultant for the Alabama County Health Department laboratory system. Um, in my visits to the County Health Departments, I have long noticed that the microscopes are deteriorating. So it's been my hope that I would be able to do something about that one day. Last year, I was able to procure a grant with help uh, from the CDC that allowed us to purchase 95 new microscopes to replace the microscopes in all of the county health departments. So your microscope will be delivered very soon and it's going to be delivered by a technical consultant like myself. It's going to be in a box, looks like this, two boxes, the top one's gonna to be upside down. On the front here, you will see a label, a white label, and on the label, should say the county health department of where you are. And if that county health department on the label does not match where you are, please let us know because you've probably gotten the wrong microscope. Okay. Now we are going to get to unboxing. On the top of this box, you will see that there is a yellow piece of paper. This has the information for the vendor that sold us the microscopes, um, his telephone number, we will be using this person to service the microscopes in the near future, but before we call the vendor, we would appreciate it if you would call a technical consultant in quality management so that we can help you with the problem possibly first before we have to call the vendor. The top of this box also says do not discard or throw away this box. So we actually want you to keep both of these boxes. Um, they will be very helpful to you if you have to transport the microscope for cleaning or for service. So don't throw away either of these. All right, so now we're gonna see what's inside the box. We've packed these boxes with all of the same items. So if you don't have everything in this box, please let us know and we'll get you what you're missing. So the first thing I pulled out here is the manual. And in the bag with the manual is a plastic bag. Um, it would really be a good idea for you to read the manual uh, just to make sure that you fully know how to use the microscope. This plastic bag is going to be a dust cover for your microscope. Uh, but it is made out of plastic, and we understand, you know, plastic eventually is going to break down and get holes in it and everything. So the other thing that we wrote into the grant was a nylon dust cover that will last a whole lot longer than the plastic one. So I know this says AccuScope on the front of it, and you have a Nikon microscope, but this is just the cover that fit the best, fit this microscope the best. Also in the box, you will have a black power cord. And a blue USB cable. This is 10 feet long. And the last item in the box, well, except for the microscope, is going to be this white box. This is the box that the camera was shipped in before it came to be attached to the top of the microscope here. Um, we do want you to check inside the box and make sure that the box is empty. And if the box is not empty, then if you would please let us know because we probably need whatever you got back. We use this box for bracing in here, so that's why you have an empty box in the box. Um, you may wanna keep this for bracing in the future when you transfer the microscope. So the way that you should grab a microscope to transport it is you should put one hand on the arm of the microscope and one hand under the base of the microscope. But right now, the microscope is buried in styrofoam. So what I'm going to do is put two hands on the microscope arm and carefully lift it out of the box. Oh, 
Okay. Right here under the oculars, the eyepieces, you will find the state property tag of your microscope. I need, before you put your box away, to compare that number to the number here on the front of your white label. Make sure those match. It should also be written on the side of the box. If this number does not match this number, please let us know. All right, so I'm gonna put this away now. And remember, we're keeping these boxes for storage. This microscope is probably looks a little bit different than the one that you're accustomed to using in the county health departments. So this is a trinocular microscope. We have the two eyepieces here that you will look through, and then we have a third ocular port that, that allows a camera to attach to the microscope. So this is a Tuxin ISH 300 camera, and this is the C-mount that attaches it to the ocular port. Now, please do not remove this camera from the microscope. When the camera is mounted on the top of this microscope, it has to be aligned and cleaned very well. And if you take it off, there's a good possibility that you will damage the threads that attach it to the C-mount. So there's not really any reason that you should take it off. Please do not. If for some reason you do feel like you need to take the camera off the top of the microscope, please contact a technical consultant and we will give you instructions and see uh, if there's a way that we can help. Okay, so right now the oculars, the eyepieces are turned around. Um, this is the storage position or the transportation um, position. Right here on the, right here on the side of the microscope, you will see a little silver screw. This is going to help me turn the head around. So I'm gonna, this is called the head clamp screw. I'm going to twist this about a half to one whole turn, any more than that, and you're gonna risk the head falling off. And we definitely don't want that to happen. We just got these, don't wanna damage them. All right, so I've twisted that keep very carefully, keeping my hand on the head, and now I'm gonna tighten it up. Now remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay, here on the back of the microscope, you will see the power port. So I'm gonna take my cord here, and I'm going to plug it into my power port. And then I'm going to plug my microscope in. And that is the unboxing of the new Nikon Eclipse E100 microscope. Video two in this series will be the daily use of the Nikon Eclipse E100 in the county health departments. Thank you for watching.